So, I'm sure not a lot of people are gonna like this video, but it has to be made. So, I made a video on Actman getting his video wrongfully removed the other day, and, <clears throat> I mean, it's still wrongfully removed, don't get me wrong. Little did I know that Actman was gonna go insane, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> dare I say a little schizo, and just cut the YouTube in a corner immediately. Thus proving just why I had been saying this entire time that the act man is just a corporate puppet, you know? Because realistically, if you want to be good at YouTube or you want to be big on YouTube, you are a corporate puppet, or you will transition into that in due time. So here we have a couple of lengthy posts that act man has made since yesterday. Quite... Uh, interesting, but uh, let's read it out. <clears throat> I want to make it clear that I'm not at war with YouTube. I am deeply frustrated. However, if YouTube believes my videos violated the guidelines, they are fully within their right to take them down. The cucking begins, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right here, but it gets worse. Or does it? I don't know. Let's just keep reading. We are in communication and I hope we can mediate a solution. I will continue to advocate for the enforcement of YouTube's community guidelines and terms of service, even if I don't always agree with their application. I just hope the rules will be enforced equally. I will always advocate for what I feel is right. This guy is going full-on mental breakdown right now over, like, a bot, right? Fucking him over, right? Because that's exactly what it was. I mean, this happened to Mama Max, right? <clears throat> Although Mama Max handled this way differently and went on this whole crusade, you know, this false crusade that was based on deception anyway. So, uh, Ackman is just kind of freaking out, and it's like, dude, it's not that deep. It's a fucking bot that got you wrong. Like, just handle your business. Everything should be fine, right? And I'm not the only ones that echo the sentiments of uh, he shouldn't be cucking to YouTube. You know, don't cuck to YouTube. They've wrongfully deleted videos and channels daily. It's all run by robots that don't know what they're doing. Have some self-respect, which is very true. Uh, hello, Simeon Jimmy. It's been a while. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much the sentiments that you need to echo at this point. You know, everybody should be echoing the sentiment. It's very, very sad. It's very, very spineless of, uh, act, man. I know some people will be like, oh, how dare you say the truth about my, my favorite internet personality? Well, I do dare, because he's not my favorite internet personality. He's just another human being making stupid fucking statements. Yeah, internet people, whether or not they have clout, they're just human beings to me. I'm sorry that that's not how it applies to you, but that's how it applies to me. And Ackman just looks like a little fucking bitch, to be honest. For different reasons rather than Quantum. Quantum's a bitch in his own kind of, like, uh, his own way. You know, he's a big girl. Ackman is just kind of like a cuck right now, which he's showing us uh, live in 4K. But it doesn't end here. I mean, you would think that it would end here and that that would be it. But he goes on to have a another schizo breakdown of sorts. Uh, I don't care about networking and I don't really care about growing numbers. I, I would rather have a stagnant channel and keep my fucking spine and principles rather than, you know, sell out like most of the other YouTubers out there. Yo, I'm just gonna say the truth as it is. Oh, sorry, sorry, I had to pick something up. That's how it's always gonna be. Anyway, he goes on to say, after having some time to think, I don't believe Quantum is behind the recent removal of the video and the monetization of other videos. Nobody deserves to be condemned under false charges, even Quantum. I stand by every other accusation I have levied against him, and I firmly believe he needs to be removed from the platform. Yeah, that's a little bit of irony there, though, right? It is, right? Because it's like he's advocating for taking down this one guy who's just like a cockroach off the platform, which, I mean, fair enough. Like, he is very annoying. It's like... You know, any other false uh, striker, false flagger kind of copyright striker, yes, it, they are very annoying. Although it doesn't fix the underlining problems 
overall, I understand it. But even then, it's kind of funny how Actman was the one leading the crusade to remove someone from the platform, and now he's having a schizo breakdown about how he might be removed from the fucking platform. <laughs> I just think it's really funny, but whatever. Again, I don't really have a side that I'm taking. Uh, to be honest, after this, they just kind of both look like bitches, but again, for different fucking reasons. I, the Actman's not my friend. I don't know him. Uh, you know, I have certain agreements with what he's doing. I have disagreements with what he's doing. Uh, Quantum, I have no agreements with what he's doing. He's just a bitch made motherfucker, right? <laughs> so, I mean, take that as you will. Take that as you will. Anyway, let's continue reading what Ackman said. Although I risked my channel and my life's work over the last seven years by saying this, it is not Quantum that is the problem. There is a severe corruption happening at YouTube. That is my firm belief. I cannot live with myself. I did not speak my truth on the matter. It's a good feeling I have. Yes, I, I mean, you would have access to these, you know, what are you? You're a one mil channel, right? So chances are you do have, you know, the knowledge of what is happening. You probably can't reveal it. But yeah, you probably already know what's happening because you're a one mil channel. People don't often know that one mil channels have privileged information right i mean it's so fucking it's so obvious but it's just they never really confirm it do they they never really tell you yes we one mil channels have direct lines to youtube and we have information we have privileged information that we don't disclose to the public so you know maybe what Actman's trying to say is there's a, a day coming to where possibly you know the criticism won't be allowed on youtube in any way shape or form that means goodbye to the pedo allegations goodbye to the detectives on the internet you know <laughs> and to be honest it'd be quite the cleanse i mean i would have a problem just becoming a fucking gaming streamer or a let's player at this point i know it's very vanilla it's very boring but you know what I kept this channel up just despite certain people that have tried to set me up and ruin my life. You know, life ruination, bud! Uh, never really cried about it, though. Only ever did one thing that I know was gonna fucking spite them, and that's keep this channel up for as long as I can. That's not to say that I don't think that dark day will come when it's eventually over, because let's be real, any fucking channel can go down at any fucking time, because YouTube is run by bots. Predominantly, not really people, because the bots are the ones that do the flagging and they get things wrong all the time. And they can just about hit you for anything. It doesn't really matter. It could be for the wrong tags. You could be putting in wrong misleading tags. You could be, you know, whatever the fuck there. The robots are not good. And that's just because YouTube is shit. It, it, it really is. It's a... It, it, <laughs> It's really dumb, but when you think about the concept that this whole thing is just easy fucking money for grifters, does it really fucking surprise you guys? Because essentially what it is, is YouTube is made for grifters, it's made for easy fucking money, that's all it really fucking is. If we're being 100% real with you, there's no real skill required to YouTube but being slightly fucking charismatic above the other person. So that, it doesn't really require much of anything. So, there you go. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just going, adding too much reaction right now. Let's go on, because Actman says a little bit more. So, let's go back to uh, this part. And this part is where it gets serious, guys. I think, maybe. My brother was doxxed during all of this and harassed by a mysterious phone number, claiming to be Quantum, but was not him. I continue to put my family in jeopardy by fighting for the justice that I believe in, and I can't do that anymore. Today I will post what will likely be my last video on YouTube before I am removed. Whether I am banned or not, I must take a break from YouTube. Again, he keeps going all schizo, making declarative statements like, I will be removed, but I don't know if I will be removed, so I don't know what he's saying that. He's being over-fucking-dramatic. It's actually pretty fucking annoying. It kind of makes me think that this is all part of a work, right? Because people don't fucking do this shit unless they're trying to get something out of it. This is all like, it doesn't make any logical sense. It's frantic, it's stupid, it's it's quite frankly very cringe, right? And the whole thing about the docs in regards to that, everybody pretty much gets docs on the internet. It just matters how easy you make your docs to be acquired. The doxing thing is horrible when it comes to uh, to life ruination. I think that's the general consensus on this whole thing, right? I mean, you go ahead and you, uh, you, you try and attempt life ruination, 
which to be honest i can actually see uh people like act man you know getting i mean he's a one mil channel he's acting like this i don't know if he normally acts like this but if he acts over the top like this these are the types of people uh trolls and people usually like to go for because of their over the fucking top reactions and their disconnect to fucking reality if this is what it is i don't know if again act man's just playing a character i don't even know if this is true to be honest i'm just going off his fucking word but uh you know, doxing ain't cool, dogs, unless you're Flamenco TV, in which case it is cool or something, or you're a blood sports guy, or you're a doxer, or you're one of like, you know, something like that. But uh, but yeah, doxing ain't cool. I mean, yeah, but for most people at least. I have had time to reevaluate my priorities in life. I've spent the last seven years working on the Act Man. I think it's time I worked on Kelly. And Kelly's family. I don't know what the fuck that is. I guess it's some weird deep lore. Whatever. Don't care. Moving on. I hope there's a channel to come back to. If there's not, then at the very least, I still have the chance to say goodbye. Again, the overdramatic, over-the-top bullshit where he doesn't even know if he's leaving. I mean, fuck, dude. To be honest, other people have more of a chance of getting off the platform than you do. Again, you are a one mil channel, and there is no grand conspiracy against you, because that's exactly where this is headed. Conspiracy fucking territory, and it's pretty fucking cringe to be honest please carry the torch of revolution in my absence what the fuck is this continue fighting for a better youtube copyright abuse must not be tolerated hate speech must not be tolerated threatening of the children it's time to make the grandest moral argument you know because why the fuck not i don't even know why he's bringing up kids into this what the fuck is he doing must not be tolerated all the other community guidelines quantum is broken none of it should be tolerated justice must be served a dragon never yields this is probably the worst thing i've ever fucking read because it's just so animated and over the top and i just can't get behind it it's very nerdy you know but whatever it, it, like different strokes for different folks i just think it's very over the top and and very unrealistic not really based in reality as you would say but whatever a dragon never yields Anyway, moving on, uh, this isn't the end, by the way, he continues on, it fucking continues, Jesus Christ. My YouTube partner just reached out to me to inform me that at some point I will be removed from the YouTube partner program and my channel will be completely demonetized. I'm going to continue working with my partner on this matter. All video plans have been put on hold. If you wish to share your feedback and thoughts on this whole matter, please do so in a constructive, responsible way. Oh, something good is waiting for me at the YouTube community at the end of this. This is so fucking stupid. Like, okay, can I be real with you for a second? I just... What I really think is happening is that I think Actman has connections and these connections are telling him these are going to be the new changes moving forward on YouTube where you can't really criticize people. You know, they're putting a full halt on this shit, right? Therefore, the type of content you're making in which you're criticizing Quantum TV or, you know, going after him in a sense or whatever, is going to be breaking the YouTube guidelines. Now, again, this all came down, like, this all happened because a bot fucked up and a bot got his video taken down for bullshit reasons, right? It's not really anything deeper, but I have, you know, if he's making a big deal about this like this, it has to have been that he got other information. It couldn't just be like, oh yeah, the bot got it wrong and whatever. He's going full on conspiracy schizo mode right now. And it feels like it's because he got some insider fucking knowledge and now he's just trying to cope a little bit. He's also trying to, um, He's also trying to, to figure out ways to do it. Maybe little subtle hints as to, you know, hey guys, you know, the shit's gonna happen. I can't fucking tell you, unfortunately, but I can make little schizo posts to warn you. So that's what I think. Like, assuming Actman isn't just an over dramatic fucking woman, uh, that's probably what's going on. At least I think so. Biggest takeaway from all this shit if, you know, this whole little act has act, man, no pun intended, you know, pissing his fucking pants. It's really cringe for any commentary guy, like, you know, ooh, tunnel vision time. Augie RFC or Nicholas the Oreo cookie and shit like that to be acting like they're like hot shit rock stars for some reason. When literally, boys, it can all be taken away from you, whatever the fuck YouTube wants it to be taken away from you. Even with your connections to Keemstar, it doesn't fucking matter. Look at fucking Act Man, he's quaking 
his fucking boots. He's pissing his pants right now. He's cucking to YouTube as we speak. You guys are no fucking different. You guys don't even have a million. You don't even have a hundred K. You know, you have your connections to Keemstar, and that's about it. And Keemstar has been fucking nerfed. I mean, Ethan Klein is more fucking power than him at this point. And they practically rival each other. But Ethan Klein actually knows when to be a corporate fucking sellout. And Keemstar just wants to be cool with the cool kids. So he continues to try to act like he's BASED. Even though he's just a sad fucking old man that's hanging out and needs validation from younger people. People that are like 10 years, a decade, or maybe two decades younger than him. It's all this... It's not that deep, bro. But you could make it that deep. And since Ackman decided to make it that deep, I decided to make it deeper. Oh yeah. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. I don't know, Ackman's acting kind of schizo. This is all stupid, but whatever, guys. I'm not really personally attached to YouTube the way all these people are. And every fucking day, I'm thankful for that. Because every time I see another person cuck in a corner to YouTube or Susan or shit like that, I'm just fucking thankful that there's a life outside of this stupid social media shit. Anyway, have a good day, everybody. Enjoy your day wherever you might be. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.